So I'm taking you through my Oscars prep week and some stuff is really fun like um, a facial, I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow, I'm getting my eyebrows done and I'm getting a spray tan which is exciting and a few fittings and then other things are new and not like they're not fun but my Amazon um, purchase history is now very different to what it was. I'm just looking up the best nipple uh, pads to cover when you are breastfeeding and if you miss a feed like I will at the Oscars um, because I'll be out on the red carpet for a few hours. <laughs> Nature has a way of reminding you that you should be breastfeeding um, and so you can leak, sorry if this is TMI, but um, the reality of it is that you have to put these little pads inside your bra or under the dress and so right now I'm on Amazon just, um, oh there's daddy and baby, I'm on Amazon um, buying those. Work it. Give me your best blue steel babes. Oh, So this is... Over here Louise, over here! Over here Louise! Louise over here! Louise over here! That's... Oh my god. Um, the, so this dress is oh, from uh, Johanna Ortiz who's ripped. a Colombian. Careful please. Don't play with it. It ain't no toy babes. I am five weeks postpartum as of yesterday and I have to say um, I feel pretty good. I think the female body is pretty amazing at kind of shrinking back into shape because I've been eating lots of wholesome hearty food, especially breastfeeding because we want to keep producing milk and you know eat really well and I'm hungry, I'm much hungrier than I was when I was pregnant. Um, but I do, I am fitting back into my old clothes which is awesome. I'm, I don't feel toned at all. I can't wait to start exercising again, hopefully in a week or so and just get the endorphins flowing. But the reason I'm telling you all this is because I've got um, an Oscars fitting today. I'm hosting the Oscars for Access Hollywood as I do every year. It's very exciting. Check out this rainbow of dresses. So beautiful. Look at that, feathers. I can't really decide, but a glitter. What do you think? Ooh, ooh, that's nice. What do you think? Need mega heels for this one. Kind of Spanish vibes and a bit of a bow around here. I don't know, I like red, but this might be too much. Next. This is really cool. This is Elizabeth Kennedy. I don't know if you can quite see it right on on camera, but it's got this amazing pink cape and then the inside of the dress is just black, but it's very cool. This is very cool. The beading on it is amazing and I love the sleeves. Let's see a close up of the neckline. It's very heavy though. I'm not sure I could stand in it for six hours or however long we're gonna be on the carpet. I am obsessed with this dress. I um, It's always the ones that you're not sure about and you try on. Check out the collar. Oh, hold on. How do I do this without getting the camera in the way? <laughs> so check out the collar. It's got like little wolves all over it. It's quite plunging. And I just love the sleeves. Look at that detail on those fan sleeves. So when you pose, you get that. I'm really into this. I don't know if it's right for the actual Oscars ceremony or <clears throat> definitely a party that week. I don't think I found my Oscars dress just yet. There were some beautiful dresses there, but none of them were just the right one, were they babe? There's another dress, that um, the one I loved um, with the wolves on it. I think I'm gonna wear that to a party, but going to continue searching for the perfect Oscars dress. It's a big day. It needs to be. This is my favourite time in the morning. <laughs> Anna's just done a monster of a poop. And unfortunately, it's time for me to go because I'm doing some Oscars prep and I'm going to have a facial. So, guess who gets the gift of your diaper? Over to Look you, up. Daddy. Well done. What a pretty girl to do such a big poo. Mwah.
So I've just left the house on my own for a bit of mummy time, which is really nice. I only get two hours between um, feeding Honor, but that's fine. So I'm going for a facial at Kate Somerville, which is one of my favorite spas, and then maybe a coffee and a little wander around the stores. I'm on Melrose Place. Um, so to try and find inspiration for an Oscars gown. Hmm. of what I'm holding a baby so sorry for the wonky cab this is Mackenzie making lunch on a normal day or it's Friday my or my mother's strippers like bold and spicy chipotle <laughs> hey cinnamon sticks <laughs> what else we got oh we got some coming <laughs> my barbecue rib oh we got some this is an old favorite black and red fish magic South African smoke. Ooh, what else we got in this drawer? Mmm. Stop doing Jalapeno like rub. Oh, dark brown sugar. Ginger. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ginger. <laughs> Everyone knew Ginger where I was from. Mmm. So you grew up in the south. Oh, white cheddar. She was a right hottie. <laughs> You grew up in the deep south? Cardamom. Stop it, now you're just making shit up. I'm late, as usual, um, but I'm getting my hair cut, and this is a big deal, because it's about as long as it's been since I was about, honestly, 10 years old. My friend Adam, who's been on my YouTube before, he's amazing, um, and we are gonna snip snip, but I don't know how short to go, because it's the Oscars, so I don't want to do something drastic and then hate it. And also, I want to be able to tie my hair back, because last time I went short, kind of annoying. So here we are. Guys, remember Adam? Hi. Hey. <laughs> pink hair, can you show your pink hair? It's fading. Yes, babes, yes, babes. <laughs> um, so Adam has cut my hair for like nearly 10 years. Do you know that? 10 years? Yeah. Holy That's cow. nuts. Yeah. Um, no one else has touched it. Never, I don't think they have. No. no. So, what are we doing? <laughs> Adam wouldn't let me cut my hair short when I was pregnant. Mm -mm. Why? That's a good move. Yeah, because you thought it might. Uh, I feel like women, when they're pregnant, you know, are having bodily bodily issues anyway, and I feel like cutting the hair off really like exposes. You're right, a lot of it. and confidence might plummet, and we don't yeah. want that. So we're gonna do. I want to go really short, but because it's the Oscars this weekend. I don't want to go too mental in case I can't tie it back or I don't like it, but that would never happen with you. But never. we're going to go mid <laughs> midway. I hate the word lob though, right? No, no. <laughs> Lob's a bit overused. Yeah, it is a little, but somewhere in that world. All right. Can you guys see? Is it? This is it. I feel so different already. Yay. I love it. And this yeah. is what we did. There's a rat in the kitchen. What am I going to do? <laughs> Improvisation there, Adam. Yeah, thanks. Uh... <laughs> I absolutely, oh my God, I'm so excited. I just love this length. It feels so fresh and different and choppy and uh, younger. Yes, babe. Yes, babe. Woo. Yes, Woo. Queen. Oh, yes, girl. <laughs> I have just received the scariest passage, the scariest package in the world, and also the most exciting. This is all the jewellery from Gemfields that they've sent. <gasps> oh my gosh! I've seen pictures, as you know, online of these pieces, and now they're here. Check these out. Very Art Deco, aren't they beautiful? Can't wait to wear those. Oh my goodness, this is stunning. So Fabergé is known for their eggs, their egg-shaped jewelry and bags, bejeweled bags. Look at this beauty. Can you see? 
the rubies on that and the diamonds. That is absolutely stunning. Wow. Oh my gosh. This Fabergé Ruby Marquise Cut Ruby. Wait for this. $355,000. And even the detail on this one, there are some diamonds around the side. Look at that. I'll try them on. Gorgeous. This is the problem. It's so exciting to feel like a princess, but it's also terrifying because then they're uh, under my control. But anyway, I shall hide them away and, uh, and get rid of them as soon as the Oscars are done. Running theme here. Not just this week, unfortunately, late again. Um, loving my new hair and I'm going to get my brows done at a place called Strike, which is amazing, run by three gorgeous chic sisters and they're friends of mine. And Christy is well known for her amazing brows that she keeps kind of thick, but right now I haven't been allowed to pluck mine for seven weeks. <gasps> so I actually feel like I've got two slugs on my forehead and I can't wait for her to fix it. So this is the entrance. Very cool. So this is the beautiful and chic Christie. Hi. One third of strike. <laughs> we gonna clean um, up these brows. Can you tell me about my brows? <laughs> well, you got almost mad she's at me. She's been so patient because <laughs> yes. we're growing them in, and it's a very hard process because it looks Better. a little messy in the meanwhile. But it's so worth it. It can take up to a year. Can it? We're already like four months, five months in, you know. Are we? Yeah. I think we're only like three. No, we started oh, really? in like October, November, no and it's way. already March. So, um, and she doesn't. Get a close she, up. Let she let almost didn't believe me that I hadn't touched these. See, this is a I didn't really pluck good. a thing. We're growing all oh, this brow hair in. So, what's your advice for anyone? You just gotta be patient. Just gotta be patient, and then and know that nobody sees that. FYI, I know that everyone's like, they feel really dirty and unkept, and it, it feels like you're walking around and everyone's staring at your brows. Trust me, nobody cares. We're all so self consumed. True. We're thinking about our own stuff that this we're not even true. paying attention. I just so said that I wasn't digging my brows. Do it for the brows because at one point they can maybe not grow back, and so you better do it while you well, can. Well, if you were a teenager in the 90s, was I? Yes, I was. It, I remember over packing mine, right. and my mum was like, stop, I did they too. won't go back, but luckily we were alright. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that got hair. <laughs> okay, I'm going to yes. let you work your magic. Okay. Here they are. Oh, I feel so much better having a little bit of a neater brow. Thanks, Christy. Mwah. Another step towards being Oscars ready. So I just got home from getting the brows done. Um, Honor is asleep, napping, which is a miracle and brilliant. Emily is here, um, beavering away, and we are doing some DIYs today, so lots of shoots going on, and this is sparkly gold popcorn for an Oscars viewing party, um, and I'm actually gonna get back in time for to watch some of the Oscars, which is nice, after doing the red carpet. Mackenzie is on his phone, which is really unusual. This is the done and done hair. For you. It's a new thing. Um, have you guys noticed how whenever I put him on camera, without warning him, he just does his hair really quickly? No, this is the whole it's point. Embarrassing. It's it's done and um, done. Anyway, excuse me, but um, the, so guys, the dress, the dress for the Oscars has been a bit of a worry for me. First of all, I didn't know how my figure would look and feel. Second of all, I'm breastfeeding, so not only do I have bigger boobs, but you have to worry about leaking and whether it will fit into dresses. Just being real here. Um, so I couldn't Perfect. choose anything until uh, recently and then one dress didn't fit, two dresses weren't available to send and then another dress that I loved and tried on wasn't quite right, the one I filmed with the, with the pink kind of cape. Then I was worried that maybe it was all black because of the political statements with hashtag me too but it's not, I think we're allowed to wear colour. So I'm actually suddenly flipping out, and I've never had this worry before. You see the concern on his face right there. Um, anyway, some boxes have just arrived, so I'm going to open them. You can film. <laughs> do, do I not get your vote on her? No? Movies. Not this one? I know, my God. Jeepers creepers, but I think... Who like says Jeepers Creepers? I think I quite like this because I could do an amazing mega necklace, right? Jewels and hair and makeup would bring this alive. Hair back or hair down, do you reckon? The booze bring this alive. Okay, I've just got to Monique Lullier. I love her. 
and I've got three amazing gowns from different collections actually that I have um, found and picked out. So fingers crossed. Iris, we don't. We're not. You guys are from that land. What do you think? California. It's velvet and kind of epic, giving me like 80s dynasty vibes. I love the slit. I love these ridiculous sleeves. And the only problem is it doesn't do up all the way at the back. But what we might do is the seamstress might be able to alter it so that it has a keyhole, so that it looks more like it's supposed to be like this. I'm quite excited. Okay. I feel like this might be the one. I feel like I can always tell by the way I'm acting in it. I mean, this is kind of... Amazing. So I'm on my way home now from um, Monique Lulier and I feel so <laughs> relieved and actually really happy. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. Honor wants to be part of the vlog too. She was so good. Chilled out with daddy. Um, I'm just so happy because in all honesty, uh, a lot of dresses didn't fit and I know I'm very lucky in that I've only had a baby seven weeks ago and I can't just expect my body to, to ping back and to be honest it has pinged back really well so I feel very grateful for that but it's obviously not as it was um like especially around my waist and I think that's where a lot of gowns you know cinch in and you want to have support around that area so a lot of the dresses didn't fit um and I'm trying not to be like you know a bit bummed out about that because I'm so thrilled that that blue and white one did fit now I'm going to go home and choose jewellery and working with Gemfields again those of you who watched the Cannes uh, vlog Cannes Film Festival last May which was actually when I had just found out I was pregnant funny enough um, literally an hour before we got on the flight um, we're working with them sustainable um, gemstones that they use so they are all sustainably mined which means a big deal too and I'm allowed to choose between a bunch of emeralds and rubies which is kind of epic what a sentence to say so it is Friday and I am getting ready for Access Hollywood. Um, you remember Tommy and Karen. Mm -hmm. Hi guys! God, they're <laughs> normally a lot naughtier than this. They need, they need <laughs> See, there it is. Um, and we're just talking about the look. So um, I figured out that I am going to wear the Monique Lulier blue and cream halter neck. Um, I just think it's not only really dramatic and beautiful but it's also the most comfortable and that matters because we're standing out there for a while it's going to be chilly chilly willies so we're thinking tommy uh scrape back hair right yes, quite severe back. yep and then um and then karen we're thinking a kind of cat eye yeah with a little uh, navy oh yes navy blue, blue liner underneath. liner underneath love that just a subtle just bit a blue. little bit not like granny blue no um we love that oh, kitty cat i love honor i love oh we love you kit made me want to become a mummy so we're going to start talking about oh. kate and nicole right. and here we go we're kicking off so i'm going to stop this is how we roll yeah 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 we take this very seriously that is a wrap i'm off now to pick up my dresses for tonight and for sunday it's all go that's a wrap, Susan! Nice job, Louise. Perfect. Yeah, okay to say that. And we are off to um, a very exciting party at the British Consulate's house, which is very fancy, and um, celebrating film. And I've gone for a, a dark red lip. This is... I used it on a tutorial, actually. Uh, MAC Viva Glam 1, which I quite like. I lined them first. Quite light skin. I haven't had my spray tan yet. And then the most unbelievable earrings, ring and uh, necklace. They're rubies. And I don't know if you guys remember, but I've worked with Gemfields before. They actually um, source rubies and emeralds and in a very sustainable fashion. So I love working with a brand like that because they care about the communities that they, and the ways in which they mine. Um, so check that out. That's a Fabergé egg they're famous for their egg shape everything um, but I'm just obsessed with these very art deco so I got to pick out all these rubies how about that bad boy don't mess hmm. time for a champs 
And by the way, mum and dad are babysitting on her, so that's what's going on right now. She's not hanging out on her own. So the Oscars are tomorrow. It's Saturday morning and can you guess, I'm getting a spray tan. Just a very, very light one. Um, Vita Liberata does a very light, gentle spritz and it's also safe. It is Oscars morning. I look like a mess, but I've just um, fed Honor and we're having some cuddles before I have to get ready and go. It's the longest I've ever been apart from her. I'm gonna be gone about 11, 10, 11 hours. And I'm really sad, but I'm excited for the Oscars. I just, um, I'm gonna miss her, so. Don't do that sad face, babes. You're gonna make me feel even more guilty. This is a different Oscars for me because, first of all, didn't get much sleep last night, not from parties, but from little Lady Honor. Um, she wasn't too bad. I usually show you guys what's in my bag at the Oscars, but uh, this is what's in my bag, and it's going in this clever cool box. Um, so it's a whole new world now of like, you know, paraphernalia, don't mind the wine. And I am having a little coffee, half calf again, can't like fuel myself with caffeine because of this. Um, but I'm gonna do that right before I go out onto the red carpet. Bye. I'll get in trouble for company as well. Love you. Bye. Right. Have a good day. We are in the car on the way to the Roosevelt Hotel where um, I'm gonna get hair and makeup ready for the Oscars. I've got so much stuff that I'm bringing with me this year. <laughs> the new addition, the new accessory, is my breast pump. So I'm gonna be <laughs> making some um, brunch and lunch for Honor to have later. So that will go in the fridge in the hotel. Right, so hair and makeup's ready. Um, Getting Mama, ready for Oscars. Mama needs to go home. <laughs> Be right back, BRB. So today, Tommy, we are going for a scraped yes. back look. Very sleek, yeah. very back yeah. look. And we haven't done this before. We have not done it's this one. In, We've done some sleek, but yeah, with a little with part, a part, a little this, a little that. And, We're um, just letting it all go back. I. This is inspired by my fellow Brit, Rosie Huntington-Whiteley, who does a slip back look to perfection. And I just think, because my dress is very high collared, um, I want the hair off the face and I've got some really amazing earrings, so I want all that to show. Um, and I love, I love a slip back look. Plus, from a practical standpoint, you don't have to keep touching it up. It's like yes. you're one yeah. and done. Here is the inspo for my hair. Um, obviously, if I could also have the face for all the goodies that Karen's using. She's just mm -hmm. gluing up some lashes right now. That's a good trick. Bend it. Bend mm -hmm. it like Beckham. <laughs> and then it goes on the eye better. What is it, Susan? <laughs> Breast pump central. I've already pumped once. Oh yeah, guys, we use um, Demi Wispies by Ardell. I've used them for years. They're my favorite. Um, lash and they're really cheap so why spend a lot okay guys so i was thinking gold for the oscars red carpet and now i'm not sure if i want to go black and have a more grounded look um oh, i don't know so i cannot decide i've just done a poll on my insta stories to, so you guys might help me decide black or gold okay guys i'm going to show you the jewelry that i picked out for the oscars these are the biggest rubies and diamonds I've ever seen, let alone worn. And this ring in particular is worth over $300,000, which is a bit terrifying, but kind of amazing. I mean, look how beautiful. Um, they are both by Fabergé. I've just pumped for the second time and we've been outside shooting. I'm ready to go, but I'm so hungry. Normally I don't get this hungry, but because of breastfeeding. Um, so I'm actually, this is real, having some pancakes, because that's what I really fancy before we go out to the red carpet. And I just thought, this is quite a moment. Bon appetit. <laughs> I'm, I'm eating my pancakes, so I'm so hungry. I've got my hot chocolate. Um, it's alright, it's on selfie mode, babes. 
and we are off to the car. Excited. Oscars 2018, here we come. Oh, oh, she's oh, setting it off. Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Always the same. So here is behind the scenes of the red carpet. This is Hollywood Boulevard, completely shut down. And security, security, security. So everyone is setting up. The crowds are in the bleachers. And pretty soon, security gets a little bit strict. So I just videoed myself walking up those stairs, nearly killing myself, and then realized I, I hadn't pressed record. But anyway, there you go. There's Hollywood Boulevard, porta potties galore. And I'm up on the bridge now, which is where um, we um, present from. So you can see every single channel has one of these little rats cages, ABC, NBC, and I'm just gonna go and find ours. Here we are. God, Susan's just taking over this vlog. <laughs> Cami it's not a cameo anymore, it's a starring role. How do you feel about that? Mom was just excited to get out. <laughs> <laughs> Last year she was pregnant at the Oscars. Now I'm breastfeeding. So next year, what are we gonna do? Drink tequila. So why so serious? Thumbs down. Just learning here how we become a weatherman or weather lady. <laughs> oh we got a fire. And a heart. Heart is above fire. I love the fire. Okay, okay, great. Here's the real deal of what's going on at the Oscars. We've got a few minutes before we start. I'm sitting on a camp chair. I've got my fan heater, my sweater, my, wait for it, flat shoes. The heels are off and I'm just doing a quick touch up on my lips. That's how it really goes down. Listen, I know there are going to be haters of this moment in time, but you've got to give it to Andrew Day. I'm giving her a heart. This is chintz. I said we were going to expect chintz. I did say your grandmother's curtains. I think she might have taken that memo a bit too literally. However, I'm sorry, you've got to give her props. The nails. There are roses in her hair. There are ruffles for days. I think Louis XIV would have been proud. I'm not going to give her a worse dress. I'm not. My sweater's back on. That is a wrap for Access Hollywood's Oscars show 2018. What amazing gowns. I just can't believe it. Right, I'm off. We are back in the studio bright and early, first thing tomorrow. I'm gonna go and eat something, drink something. So I made it home. No after parties for me. I made it home in time to put Anna to bed and to see this one, to get a bowl of ice cream. Ice cream and watch the Oscars on TV, which is kind of heaven. We'll party next year, babes. Even though I refuse to go out to be a team player. I'm wait. trying to kiss you. Oh. So rude. Let me wait.